Hello everybody, welcome to this Tattered Lace class. I'm so excited to actually finally be bringing you some more education and building on what's been an iconic brand for the last few years. So we're gonna start working with Deep Sea Darlings and what we're gonna do over the next few months with Tattered Lace is bring together the essence of the detail that you love with those lacy effects, but also I'm gonna build in some of the other things that are very on trend with the greeting card and paper crafting market too. I want to start off by showing you this beautiful design. I'm just gonna check, yes, this is one of Vicky Derrick's and it's just super exquisite. And I'm going to lift up the contents of the inside so that you can just see how amazing this is. And that little mermaid that you've got there, she's beautiful. She sits inside the treasure trest and everything then is encapsulated inside. And um, a couple of quick close-ups for you and a little bit of the story around this collection. So Tattered Lace has often been very whimsical in the look and feel of the designs that we've brought you. So I wanted to bring you that look and feel from under the sea. So we've got a very, very elegant, but quite, um, quite strong in character, little seahorse here, and then his babies. And then we come on to our mermaids. And this one's pretty beautiful because not only is it showing you how to make the most of that decorative seashell that is nested to get the most and maximum value for money, but also she's there playing the harp, sitting amongst the rocks with all of the little colored fish there for company. And then because you've got the USB in there, you can bring in the detail and those fabulous backgrounds. And then here's another one where she's swimming with our Ted, our turtle. And again, those lovely little designs of the detailed elements that are also part of the die cuts. But what makes this so special is that the elements that are the background, and this again is uh, being um, generated by Minecraft Studio. So the collection itself is a set of fabulous tattered lace dies with the backgrounds. So the dyes themselves, you've got Melody, Melissa and Coraline. And these are a trio of mermaids that are really quite substantial in size. We've also got our Harmonious Heart. We've got Sea Flora, Beneath the Ocean, which is a montage of lots of elements. Then we've got Ted, our turtle, Hippo and Fry, which are our seahorses, and baby seahorses, which are carried by the dads, by the males, um, if anybody didn't know, are actually called Fry. We've got Jewels of the Beach, that beautiful seashell lace, iconic tattered lace, and then our nested seashell. And I've got a little printout from the USB that just gives us an overview of the sheer volume that is actually on this USB. So you've got the Minecraft Studio graphics program, which allows you to change the colors. And here you're going to see each of the mermaids in two different colorways. We've got complementary and contrasting seahorses. Then the seashells in these beautiful ornate jewel colors. And the colors for these shells came from that look of that almost pearlescence that you get inside a shell where you're seeing the luster of all of those rainbows of colors. So this are giving you all of the elements that are individual pieces for you to play with, with your graphics program. We also, we've included in here some elements that actually are not part of this collection, but are available separately. And you've got here some other elements with our um, with Thor, who is our, our male mermaid. But it's these bubbles and the way that they're so clever in the way that they build the design. And then having the lace shell there to be able to overlay backgrounds behind it. And all of the different detailed elements, even things like our little seal and also those fish. Lots of different corals for you, lots of different sea flowers, lots of individual sea creatures. And everything that you're seeing here, so far we've got 150 of those individual icons, but it keep on going, giving you more colors, more choice, more shape, more direction and more size. 
and we actually get to 187 of those before we've actually exhausted that one folder. But this one is very clever because these are our overlays. So imagine putting the white bubbles over one of the backgrounds or printing this onto acetate or changing the, the, um, the light coming into the sea so that you can have sun rays coming through those lights. And then we've got all of our reflections and we included the ones that maybe you might buy in the future so that you've got those just in case. But then we added in our digital stamps and the digital stamps are going to allow you to build scenes and create beautiful, beautiful dimension. Digitally masking off elements, being able to fill in the blocks of colour that we've got, doing your own watercolour effects. And then talking of watercolour effects, we've put them in the backgrounds and then we've given you those oil on water pearlescents that are so synonymous with seashells and seeing them there as they are unveiled at the top and how beautiful the pastels are. And then we keep going because we come into one of the biggest sections of the USB and it's the backgrounds. And these are in multiple sizes. You've got different orientations. You've got different choice. Imagine lightening some of the blue so it just fades into the background using this to create the cards and make them really special. Having all the sea elements and the sea creatures available to work with. And then we've left some completely blank. So these you can build your own scenes with. So there is absolutely something for everyone. And I have just a few of them printed out to share with you. So that pearlescent, even printed on just an ordinary plain paper, still has a luster to it. And when you change the colour, you change the way the light plays with the effect. And each of these giving you the detail that would look stunning with our individual designs. And you can see how they're so complementary with the colourways that we've got. And then more where we're actually building scenes and being able to bring elements into it. And that's what I'm going to be doing and showing you as part of this class. And I've chosen different ones, all very bright, very strong, but we're going to build up some really clever, clever cards from this. So I'm just going to move all of these out of the way because we won't be looking at those again. And remember, you can play this back as many times as you want. But what I wanted to do before we move on to actually creating some projects, just want to give you a reminder of how we can bring these stories together. So here's our turtle. And with each of them, I've tried to bring you just a little story so that there's something for you to be able to build around. So there is our card front. He's been decoupaged. So cut three, then cut his body and then put his shell on the top. So you've got lots of detail. We've got our, our little fish and the coloured corals that you can see more of that coral and more of the rocks to give us the detail of the design. And what's really interesting about this one, these rocks are all nested. So you're getting all of this for that amazing price and that's what you've been able to get. You're getting all of our mermaids. Those are mermaids. Now you've got these, look at the detail you've got. She's got beautiful shells around her belt. She's got detail in her hair. The way that the charms are literally are reflected in what she's wearing. And then the shaped shell itself. Every one of these different sizes is not only a card front, but it's also potentially a card shape. Then you've got on your seahorse. And your seahorse is not only beautifully and imaginary and magical, but with the babies and the other shells and the other elements around it, it really comes to life. Let your mermaid just ride on the back. Or maybe she's going to play the harp under the water. Or perhaps it's just going to be the shells and the seahorses making the corner. And then finally, that lace shell. So much that we can do with this. We're going to get stuck into making our first card using that shell. So I'm just going to layer these 
back up and put them out the way so we've got some space to work. So I mentioned those shells first of all. I've already got everything prepared so it isn't going to take many moments to get this started and get us crafting. And I have got here a set of shells. Let me just move these out of the way as well. And I'm going to share with you a couple of different things I could do. So first of all, I'm going to take this particular viewfinder and hide a big chunk of my design. And taking my seashell, just one of those pieces, I could be just popping this slightly to the side and creating that shell there or using my shell in this corner and then building in, and I've got, look at all my die cuts that I've got, building in some of the elements that I want to put here. So first of all, I'm going to sit my mermaid on top. So I'm gonna get my viewfinder. She's gonna sit here amongst that shell but I'm going to need some um, rocks for her to sit on. And I particularly like these because there's so much detail to them. So this one would slide in front and my shell is there ready, picking up the detail. Now we could almost put a sentiment up here and that shell would, and that scene could be finished, but it does look particularly nice if we to bring the seahorse into the story and the seahorse is now talking to our mermaid. So again, you've got some detail in design in there. I'm going to remove this one of our scenes and bring in another one, which is much plainer. And it changes the look and feel of it. The seahorse is up there right in the deep of the sea and we're looking like we're needing more to be able to fill in the gaps that we've got. So what I'd like to do first of all is I'm going to work with this background in a few minutes time. But before I do that, I'm going to make this into a freestanding card. And what we need to do that are two individual seashells. And there are two of these that have been cut perfectly so that they match. And they also match the overlay that I've got there. Now, um, a couple of little things for you. So I'm just going to do some gluing as we go along because I do want you to see some finished results. So just going to take my adhesive and just get this unblocked, which will take me just a moment. And do remember that if you check out our YouTube channel, you'll see lots of fabulous inspiration there, inspirational projects and videos. And it doesn't always have to be the collection that you've purchased that you use that inspiration for because there's so much that we can do with all of these elements. So first of all, let's just get this glue down. A little bit of patience as always. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit around the outside edge and I'm going all the way around here. Now I've worked with 250 GSM cardstock, but what I'd like to do is I want this to be really firm. So I'm going to be putting two of this design together. So I've got my first one here and that is going to go directly on behind the one that I've got here. And what you'll notice with tattered lace is you can feel them click into place. So you've got a really strong, sturdy design. Just got a little piece there that needs popping out. You can see that landlocked piece. And so now I, that's really quite strong. And what it does is it means that I can take my shell and I can actually make that the back of the design. So I've got a really lacy finish. The other alternative is to take two of these 
And if I was going to use two of them, I would glue them together just along here. Then this one, let me just make sure I've got those together. So like that. So I'm just going to score along here, there. That piece then gets glued. So it's like that. Or in fact, you can glue it that way, whichever you prefer. If I glue it that way, I can then turn this edge like that. So I've just turned it up like, it, like that. And what we do, we put a little bit of glue here, there. That sits here. Then we then glue this edge like that. So we've got that one there, that one there. And when it folds down, so I'm just pushing that in so that it's up to the edge there. So that one's level with the back of that one. Just takes a moment for that glue to set. So just need to be a little bit patient. So there we go. So I'm just getting that so that it's lined up. When you fold it down, it isn't all going to line up at the front because we've got, we've layered it. We've created these layers, but those layers are what make this look clever and magical. So we've got those layers that you can see here. And I'm then going to use this as a way of building my freestanding, beautiful seashell. Okay, so the next part of this design and just looking at this, I'm actually looking at it and thinking it may be better. I'm just going to check that because it isn't as level as it could be. So I'm actually going to, while the glue is still wet, use the chance to change the way that I've layered it. So I'm just going to make sure that, which is that's what I've done wrong. So you can see here that I should have layered it that way, not the way that I just did, which actually it's going to be there. And then that one is going to go there. And that's going to come up and that's going to come back. So there we go. So I've got it there. That's the way. So it's much neater. Okay. So we've layered that back. So it's better. So just so that any, in case anybody didn't notice what I was doing, what had happened was I'd, I'd got this point over this side. So I'd actually got this panel back to front. So I've now got them the right way up. So you can see that that's lined up nicely. And now I'm going to take my rocks and I need to ground them. So I'm just going to lift them slightly there. And these have all been designed so that they are really good for grounding and giving you dimension on your projects. But to make it really super sturdy, I'm going to put two of them together. Now, if you are trying to save ink on your printers, which is sometimes a really good thing for us to do, one of the things that you could do here is do one of them in white. They don't have to be, or even a dark colored card. But if I then open that up, you can see how much sturdier that is. So I've created like a little butterfly opening. So this is a good way of us being able to get things to stand without us worrying about it being perfect. So that's one piece that I've done. The next piece is a slightly different shape. So I need two of those and they're going to be grounded just there like that. So they're my butterflies again. So let's layer this one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide that underneath there. So can you see how I've just slid this little piece under here to make it nice and neat? So you need to work quite quickly and do your planning ahead so that you can get everything lined up and or everything even lined up. And then you're going to get the shape and the design coming together like that. So that's 
those two pieces, pull that together. Now, my mermaid, she's going to sit back here. But again, I want her to be grounded and sitting on something. So we've got some extra rocks that we, we've got in these collections. And the rocks are quite substantial. So a couple of these are perfect for her to be able to sit on. And again, we're going to take the two, put those together at the top. And I'm using the second size here. I'm going to create my butterfly opening. So open and open there and put that on my card and my project. But before I stick it down, so while that's just coming, getting stuck, I'm sitting her bottom, just on the bottom of that rock and a part of her tail. So it's there and just there. She will sit like that, but I'm taking another one and, oops. She's got a different colour tail, but it won't matter. And I'm just going to stick her to the one that I've just gone. So she sticks there and there. This one will stick over the top like that. So you can see how she comes together. Just there. That tail is going to go there. And this piece is going to get cut along that straight edge. So just there, I'm going to take it away. Okay, so let's look now and see she's sitting on her rock. We've got the butterfly for it to be able to, um, to hold open on the card. So you can see that's going to hold open nicely. And that glue is already starting to go tacky. So perfect for exactly what we need. Now, so I'm just gonna turn that round so that you can see how this is starting to come together. So there she is sitting on her rock with everything that's going on around her. The card itself will stand up perfectly like that, but we've, we've got more to do. So she's just come undone. So I'm just gonna stick her back down and she's gonna be playing her harp. So here is her harp with her just looking at how pretty that is. Now, I'm just going to see what that looks like and I quite like it. So she can be just sitting on the rock admiring or playing. It's really, it's entirely up to you what you want her to be doing. And this one again is going to have lots of that glue just down the strings as well. I wish I could play a musical instrument, but unfortunately that is not in my gift. I guess I'm lucky I can do quite a lot of creative things, but playing music isn't one of them, unfortunately. So there she is. She's playing her harp. And now we need to finish all these other details. So I've got fish. We're going to put fish on the lace. So we're going to have that one on there and we're going to have this one on here and I'm going to have a couple more of those little fish. So let's go right into the bottom and pick some out. So a little angel fish. Um, check out which way up they go because I have had a few that I've put on upside down. But you know what? Fish swim in all different directions. So I haven't worried too much about that. And there's another one that's just swimming into the story just there. So those three are swimming to say hello to our story. And then I've got a little bit more work to do at the front because you're starting to see the detail now as it comes together. But it's going to be where all of the seashells and the detail and the colour goes that will make really bring this to life and finish it off. So I'm going to lay these elements down. So once they've started to dry, you can lay them down as I'm doing now. And then we can take our shells and 
the fabulous elements that we want to add detail to the designs. So I'm going to put my seashell on and ground it. So by grounding it, all we mean is literally bending the bottom of the shell so that it actually will sit on the surface and it will be flat. And then layering this one in. But before I put, do that, I'm going to take some of my coral that I've got and I'm going to put a piece behind. So let's go behind this shell just there. I've got some of the red coral, which is going to go just here. And that's going to go with that seashell. So I get that piece out of the way. Just hold for a moment. I've got some of my greenery, which will go into that. So that's some more of the fabulous sea reeds. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of this behind here where I'm going to use both of these and we'll put them just here. So that's coming behind the coral. You can see how that now really is lending itself to being a beautiful card. And then everything gets stood up, including the shell and the lace and the background. And our card becomes a picture in its own right. And isn't that just beautiful the way it's been done? And if I just show you inside, it's actually very neat the way that that's finished. Whoops, I'm just going to get that seashell back in place. Very neat the way it's finished and could still be putting a little bit more weed on here if I wanted to. You could have little bits of seaweed coming out, finishing it off. In fact, let's put that a little bit of glue on that, let that one stay in place. And we'll just pop that there and a little more of it just there because we do want to have that bit of extra detail. And yeah super a super card that's got lots of dimension and lots of detail in it and the actual card itself will stand and hold up with me having it freestanding so that's the first project i'm going to move on to the next one to share with you and we're going to go back into this piece of card that we've got so I'm going to use this and I'm going to be building you a card front here and I'm going to do that using a number of different pieces. So first of all, I want to take my turtle and I'm going to take three of him and I'm going to layer him up so that he's decoupage. So I'm just going to get this little bit of glue off my fingers and I'll show you where we're going to go with it. So the first part of it, and that doesn't that look great? It looks like the turtles are just swimming along on the sea themselves. So we could have two of them, couldn't we? That could look super cool. But to decoupage him, when you're decoupaging, you always take away the pieces of the design that are the furthest away when you look at them, or if you were to try and reach to touch them. So I'm going to take away these pieces just here. And that gives me this part of our turtle. And I'm just going to shape it using my fingers to get a little bit of shape into him. So you can see that his body now has got some shape. And I'm going to layer him up actually just here. So I've got some glue gel in a syringe and I'm just going to put that in I'm quite a lot of it in the middle and then my wet glue just to hold down the tips of his head, his fin and his foot. And then he's going to lay on top like this. So that's him ready and decoupage. You can see immediately get some shape and some shadow to him. Then the next part of the design, I think, is perhaps putting in that second little turtle. Although turtles often do swim 
by themselves or and I think we we sometimes do see them in them in the sea by themselves. So let's build this story with three of our mermaids. Purposely kept the background quite simple. So um, we're going to need to consider perhaps a seashell that would come off the page like this or off the page like that. So you're only seeing part of the shell in the design. Then we're going to have our mermaids. I've got one here. This one is actually going to be riding our turtle. So she's going to sit right up there on our turtle, as you can see, just like that. We could have her playing her harp, which you can see there. So that's a, another one we could have. But do think about which way round you play your harps. And because I do, that is one that I tend to get a little bit mixed up about. We've got another one of her little friends. Well, she's just admiring herself because she's found some beautiful seashells on the floor. And then we've got this one. So all three of them in one story. So I'm going to move this actual mermaid to the side here. I'm going to move this one so that we don't lose as much of the detail of the design as we could because we don't want the colours to blend together too much. And this one's going to be sat here. So because she's sat here, she needs a rock or something to sit on. So let's put her there. We'll bring out that seashell a little bit more. So she's sitting just to the side of the card. Now I've got the detail of the design. I'm going to put a few little fish just around the shell itself. So we're just having a few of these little fish in amongst the shell like this, but also behind it too. So we've got the fish actually in amongst the shell. I'm going to take some of the baby seahorse and I'm just going to put those on. So just get a couple of babies. I've taken these out of the wallets just to be able to make it quick for me to access them, for, to be able to share them with you. So I've got a couple of my little babies here and then I've got my seaweed. And this is the bit that it's these finishing touches that are going to make all the difference. I'm just going to move that ye little yellow little bit, um, little fish and put all of this all around the bottom. So I'm grounding the design, but I'm also adding in the detail so you can see how much detail we can get into this. This one mermaid needs to be lifted so that she's got some dimension so that the seashell isn't actually um, covering up too much of her. Or the other option, I can be taking out my seashell. So you can see I've got two little lionfish there, that one up here, the two little seahorses. And I'm gonna bring in my harp. So she's playing music as she's actually sitting amongst the rocks and the sea. And there's the detail of the design. Just put those little fish up there. I'm gonna bring in her friend. She's talking to the seahorses and finish off the design with this detail. And you can see how all of these elements are just literally bringing the story together. So now we need, there's the two little seahorses, put one down there, that little bit of foliage so that it's coming through all of it here, lifting the design, building it up, adding detail into the story creating a little channel and a little storytelling element and bringing all of that together with that lovely blue into the backgrounds. 
but I also want to show you how to build corners using the seashells and how to build elements that could we could use potentially as maybe even a wreath. So I'm going to move all of this to one side. I'm going to take and change my um, viewfinder to a circle. I'm going to lay this over the top and we're going to use our seashells to create the wreath. So we're going to create a wreath of shells and literally by layering them up and positioning them around your design, you can start to add something really pretty and dimensional. So we've got some of those with lots of color. We've got some of them, all of them have got their lovely pearls in there. So you're seeing as the detail coming, little ones adding in elements and layering them up, adding more of the larger shells and the pale colored ones and some extra elements to finish off the design. And you also, we have these in um, different colors too. So we've got them in blues and greens. So you might want to just add in a few of the other colorways to just bring that blue from the center into the design. So you can see how I'm literally layering them and these would all get stuck to give us that bit of dimension that we need. So we've got ourselves our wreath of seashells and we're now ready to just add in the little bits of extra. So some of these would need to be on foam just to, or um, silicon to just add a bit more detail. Then you put your seahorse in. He looks exquisite. If I move him to one side and I bring my mermaid in, so that she is actually on my seahorse. That as a card is absolutely stunning. It has everything that beautiful card making's about, but it adds to the design when I bring in my tattered lace element and I bring in that fabulous seashell, which you can see there. So that goes into the center of the design with the seahorse, with our mermaid and adds that extra element of detail. Or I can take those out. And as we saw earlier, we had our, our turtle and our mermaid just there with other elements. And this might be a case where, again, you have just a tiny little bit of the lace coming through the design. But whichever way you use this collection, you are going to get stunning results because it's designed to mix and match and coordinate. Whether it's just building in small details and putting in things like our little seahorse, just as the finishing touch, you will get amazing results every time. So there's so much more that we can be sharing with you. Don't forget to check out all the pictures. Please don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel and, um, and also check out our Tattered Lace exclusives that are available on Highlight Crafts for the very first time. So a shipwreck, if you'd like that one, you can see the price there on the screen, especially for club members. We also, we have um, our dolphins, Echo, Indigo and Dolphin. And finally, we have Triton and what a fine specimen he is. All of them deserve a home. Check them out. They're there for you to choose from. If you're watching this on repeat later on in the year, then please join us at Highlight Crafts for lots more inspiration and lots more collections. And it's such a pleasure to be able to talk to you about Tattered Lace again. There will be more to come. There'll be more detailed education and more in-depth demonstrations. This is just the start of the journey. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. 
You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.